the Rhino Beetle. The first mini boss that we really encounter in small land and we are pretty prepared for him. We've got our full set of chitin armor. We have two Healy pots. We've got a couple of band-aids. He is just resistant. Let me get a little bit closer. Just resistant against Pierce. If I get close enough to show it. There it is. Pierce damage. He's just resistant. Oh, I think I pissed him off. So we can use really anything to battle him. We're just gonna go with sword because it's quick attacks and relatively low on stamp. And oh, we don't want to get hit by his charge. He does like two real attacks. So one's the charge, and I'm getting really bad at dodging it. I'm dodging too early is the problem. And he does like a, a oh, get away from my house, bro. He does like a stomp attack uh, where he like kind of jumps up in the air and like stomps down. That one's much easier to dodge. And that's when you want to like unload your, oh, he's just chilling. That's when you want to unload your, your like combo. Two or three hits and then back off for Sam. Get away from my house. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? He's kicking, he's raiding my base. What a jerk. I was going to bring it down anyway, but what a jerk. Okay, that is just uncalled for behavior. Mr. Rhino Beetle. That is uncalled for type behavior. I am uh, getting kicked. My ass kicked by a water bug. My base is getting raided. The Rhino Beetle is got a ven personal vendetta against me. This is not how I wanted to start our battle. Okay, come on, dude. Uh, let's let's come over here. What do you gotta do? You gotta jump or charge? It looks like a charge. Oof. So I double dodged there just because I see here. That's the attack. Yeah, we dodged it. Now we unload. Okay, we have a gecko on our midst. Fantastic. Gecko, you want to help me? Ooh, that was close. Nope, gecko doesn't want to help me. I'll just whack him one time real quick. Oh, gecko's helping me, I think. Oh my God, Geico best car insurance. Gecko's helping me. <laughs> That'll teach you for raiding my base, Rhino Beetle. That'll teach you good. Well, if that's the case, let me uh, use this to my advantage. I mm, uh, Maybe I'll just save it. I've tricked the system into uh, allowing the gecko, oh, to, the gecko to get murdered by the rhino beetle. All right, cool. Rhino beetle stronger than gecko. Okay, let's loot. He's over here, we'll give him a chop. Oh, he's just gonna steamroller me. Do the jump in the air thingy. I'm bad at dodging the charges. There you go. Oh, I'm bad at dodging that too. Okay, let's, uh, let's health pot just, oh, he's gonna do it. Slurp. I spilled it all over my face. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Perfect. Wow, it takes a little while to kick in, huh? Okay, right when he shakes his head. That's the timing. Where it's like, brr, brr, then you click. Oh, nope. Shake your head. Brr. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe I got to dodge towards him. Shaky. All right, dodge towards him. That's that's the play. Now we're learning the, the mechanics. Shaky. Brr. Yeah, dodge at him. And don't get hit by that. I'm really good at dodging, as you can see. Let's just unload into him. Oh, my tits. I'm too busy practicing dodging against you. Oh, seven health. Well, he's gonna die before me, right? Nope. This is back way up. And I'm gonna hit him one time and he's gonna die. Goodbye, Rhino Beatus. You raided my base. I will remember this. Tran horrible transgression, you gigantic turd. Hopefully there's still stuff on the ground. <laughs>we got to pick it all up. Oh man, let's go survey the damage. But yeah, I was trying to show some of the timing for dodging. That's a little tricky, but I still stand by. Uh, dodging is probably the best course of defensive play currently in this uh, iteration of small lands. Blocking, not widely helpful. IMO, not widely helpful. <gasps> All this destruction. He broke some chests, he broke... He broke my workbench, I can't even repair. Oh, this guy, this freaking guy. All right, let's see what we can, can we pick it up? <gasps> we have the inventory space to pick up most of it. It's time for us to set down some permanent roots. Finally, joke fully intended. I've got everything broken down from the area to where we were outpost, where the Rhino Beetle was at. Uh, it's all moved over here, it's relocated, broken down, and this is the foundation that I've laid out to start building. We're gonna start Root Home. That's what I'm naming our base, on, and our permanent base now here on the, on the Great Tree. I'm really excited for this. Uh, so I've got 
a couple of chests filled with well i got some inventory too filled with bark and wood let's just take the whole i, I had some so let's just go with it and we're gonna dive right into the uh the the buildy buildy times extreme i've been waiting for this an actual permanent base i think you guys have been waiting for it too if you're anything like me you enjoy the building stuff probably the most in these types of games so let's get right to it i live these little like uh convex that's the word i was looking for like convex windowed walls so i'm going to use a lot of them in the build uh because i have kind of a i don't i don't necessarily know like what that would be it's like a flower shape on the ground like a flower petal -ish shape it, either way i i thought it looked cool i wanted to play with a lot of the um like angled stuff so this is where we're kind of landing with this and it's, it's got to be big enough to house us and all of the potential workstations that we're going to be crafting. Make sure that they're sheltered. I don't want anything to get damaged by the weather or the storms or anything like that. So we're going to make sure we're all squared away. Let's go for a door frame, a door frame. Where are we at here? Uh, what's looking good? This way? That seems fine. Or this way? That looks kind of more outside. Is it... See, I'm looking at the bottom where the big log kind of like lines up. And it's slightly uneven. It triggers me a little bit, but I don't think there's really a solution for that. Like up on the top too. It doesn't really like up here where my little crosshair is. It doesn't like line up perfectly. <laughs> and it's triggered by OCD ever so slightly, ever so extremely. I just really don't think there's any any um, any wiggle room with that. I think that's just the way it is. I, I don't need torch right now. Let's um, let's go with we're wanting, wanting to do one more layer, I think. So let's do this wall and go one more up and cry about my problems. All right, the door opens outward. That's perfect. We're going to leave that going. I, I do like the wood tier. I'm pretty sure there is another tier after wood. We haven't unlocked it yet, but I'm pretty sure there's a, like a stone tier because at the grinding station, you can make the stone s bricks or blocks or whatever for use for the purpose of building. We haven't gotten to the point where we've unlocked it, but if and when that happens, we might not necessarily rebuild the base because I like the way that this is kind of coming together. We may add some like stone elements to it. I don't know yet. We're, that, that's 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 a future neck problem. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, Root Home is making an appearance. And we're going to make sure that Root Home looks the absolute best that it possibly can. So that we can impress and make all the other tiny pixie people jealous by having the best the best base and the best great tree. Well, technically, all trees are, 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 are the best great tree because they're all linked, but that's... That, that, that's... Uh, Nobody call attention to that. All right, let's see. Let's do some of this. Just windows on the bottom floor. I've been so excited to like kind of dig into this. Now there is the feature which you may have like seen the advanced rotate. I don't think I could do much with walls. Yeah, because that's not gonna like snap correctly, right? Like that has no structural support. That would just that would just fall. But I'm wondering if I can make like weird dome shapes if I continue to play with the advanced. Now I'm digging into this now, like as I've already started my build. So just slightly rotate. Let's try. Okay, uh, there. So that snaps. Hmm. Hmm. I decided to try this now <laughs> instead of like building my actual base. No, that's not the rotate that I want. I want it to rotate like down towards me. So maybe here. No structural support. No, that's not what we want. Huh. That doesn't look good. I'm not going to roll with it, but I wanted to see if I could build like a 
dome, dome-ish shape. Not with these walls anyway. Let's kill. Let's uh, reset our advance. There we go. And continue on with uh, initial idea of root home. We're not going to try to break things just yet. Soon, TM, but uh, not right now. Oh, let's add some windows there. Let's do these. See, that's kind of nice. I, put, I didn't put anything over here. So is there a... They're mo mostly the same on the inside and outside. So we don't need to worry about any kind of like weird... Like, oh, this was supposed to be an outside frame <laughs> type deal. Pick up my droppings. All right, cool. We've got that kind of place down and now we get to do the tricksy stuff. Uh, where was... I'm looking for this one, but in wood. Uh, I think it's this one. It looks like a little witchy. Ah, yes. Oop, not there. Looks like a little witch's hut type of thing. Like a, like a, like a freaking acorn. I like it. I think it looks neat. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we could definitely start to connect that now. We'll do our little concave. All right, looking good over there. Go ahead and tag this one. Looking good there. And now we got to bring it all in together. This is where it's going to start to get tricky as I bring it in and kind of like r raise the roof, pun intended. I'm doing real good with the puns today. Real, real good. Hope you're proud of me. All right, we're going to take, we're going to hop and take a look at that. Uh, let's um, get out of that build menu thing. <gasps> Did I make it? Oh, yes. Parkour skills on point. So, yeah, that I don't, I don't think that's the play. I just don't think that looks great. Going from like the concave into the concave. We're going to try something a little bit different with that. Let's go in here to the, the connectors, though. Make sure that snapped right. No, it's going to give me trouble. There it is. All right, so now. Now let's head to the flat roof tiles. OK, so we want to make sure that this is uh, facing in that direction. That's this is going to be important. I want to make sure that I do this right. OK. Okay, we're going to elevate this. We got to rotate this fully. That's what I did over here, right? Yeah, I did a three, a three fur. OK, now we're going to elevate this. I'm going to have to get up on the roof to continue this build. But let's do this here, this segment. Can I snap it onto a, uh, a roofy tile or does that have to be a ceiling? OK, that's what I thought. It has to be like this little this little time. Oh, no, 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 no. It's working. Hang on. Hold up. Got ahead of myself. It was just being junky. And by junky, I mean janky. And by janky, I mean wonky. And by wonky, I mean it wasn't working. It, there it is again. It's doing the thing. Oh, we got it. We got Oh, we got it. Oh, we got some progress coming. I need scaffolding. I need scaffolding. I am having fun. All right, how do we how do we get up here easily? Uh, you know what? Let's just make. Uh, we don't have the fiber. We just have bark and wood. That's all we got. Can I go here? Is that for me? Please. It was insufficient structural. That's fine. This is scaffolding anyway. Oh, <laughs> it's scaffolding uh, that I, I was bad at using. We have a flat form platform here. Let's see if we... Oh! I also had another idea. We could try these. Uh, let's see how this looks, though. I think it's going to look poo-poo, to be honest with you, now that I'm up here seeing it. Not horrible. It's like... I don't know. I don't love the angle, though. It's not horrible. I just don't love the angle. So let's... Let's... Square that, or... 
I meant to say nix that, like get, as in get rid of it. And then I said square it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. These things just happen. And I, I don't know how my brain works sometimes. Put you on the, th give, give it to me. Give me the snap. I think this is gonna look much better. Uh, hmm. All right, let's do some giga parkour. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it didn't work. I failed at my giga parkour. I was going to try to jump all the way. I don't know why I'm super zoomed in in real life. This is, building has just got me. Can I get a snap snap? Can I get a snap snap? That was, oh, is that? Oh, I think that's the snap snap. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, hell yeah. I think we might have like had it. And I didn't think that it was because it looked maybe a little bit off. I think that's better though. I think I like that more. Let's do this on that one. Where's my other, where I just had you. No, that's not it. I might play with that though. Where are you, roof tie? Here you are. I don't remember the, where the positions of these things are at, so I don't have to struggle. Yeah, here we go. Putting it at the snap point at the bottom. So maybe if I was underneath, it would make that a little bit easier. Let me just do something like this. Have it like an open, open air. Oh, I can even put it like a, another stairway. I can even have like a bit of a third floor up here. Hmm. I'm liking where this is kind of going on accident. Oh, and I fell. Well, not terrible. We're having like little Bob Ross happy accidents wherever we go. Can I make this work? Ooh, I can't. I have a bit, I have a bit of a different idea. Oh, there goes my support. Uh, we want to go back to building. We're going to do these, these roofing tiles or these flooring tiles rather instead of the roofing tiles. I'm going to do something a bit different. Okay. Now, I was liking where this was going as I was looking at it. Uh, we'll get this one here on the corner. We can get the snappy right. There it goes. Now, we'll put down our staircase. So this would be the front of the house. Let's put it towards the rear. Make sure these are all facing the same direction. I'm going to destroy you for the time being. I'm just I'm in I'm just in the zone. I'm just rolling with it here. Let's do you like so. And then you're going to oh, you're going to cross. What? Uh we have we have a solution for this. We have a solution for this. Oh, that doesn't have structural support. Ring internally intensifies. Uh why don't I do a pillar? So can I snap you? I have to snap you on corners, but that's okay. Would this provide you support that I need? It should. Oh, it puts it... Okay, it's, it'll snap there. How does that look, though? I'm in love with it. Let's try the other pillar. What, how does this look? Oh, that looks like it might be... It's like shaped. It's a shaped pillar. Oh, I like that so much more. Can I get... Oh, it'll snap. It'll snap in the halfway. I like that. I like that more. All right. Now, let's hopefully have created enough structural support to seal this off. And we've just given ourselves a bit of a third floor. Oh, don't be wonky on the snap. Why, why are you doing half snap? We got it. Okay, this one here in the middle was the, is the only one that I'm worried about. Structural support. It's got it! I don't know what I did, but we got it. We got the structural support. Heck yeah. I think before it was just because I was trying to go uh, dead through the center with nothing on the sides. All right. This is looking pretty sharp. Uh, if I put a piece here, can I still get up and down? I think I'm going to bonk my head, right? It's not going <gasps> to... Okay, let, let me get this freaking thing off my 
The big ass, <laughs> the big ass floor tile. Okay, I'm in. I'm running around. I'm dropping down. I don't, I don't head bonk. I don't bonk head. This is fantastic. This is looking great. Uh, let's see. That needs, that needs a window. 100%. Yeah, we need some windows up in here. We're on the third floor. We're looking out. Um, do we do open air for like a balcony? We, we could, right? Yeah, let's do open air for a balcony. Now I'm going to have to get a bit creative with um, covering this. But I don't foresee much of a problem if I put down. Oh, yeah, it snaps on top of the. Mm, this is going to be sharp. This is going to be real sharp. I'm going to cut myself on this house. It's so sharp. I think this is going to be good because I can do this. <laughs> Not enough structural. OK, God, if I could stack these pillars, we're fantastically golden. Uh, let's, let's get up here. Maybe I just need a better vantage point. Parkours. Didn't fail. It's a good sign. That's it. We just needed a better vantage point. You can stack the pillars. Sweet. And sour sauce. Let me get a scaffolding. A scaffolding ladder. My, well, I gotta be careful. My old, my old scaffolding turned into a permanent fixture. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be careful when I do scaffolding. I, I see things that I like and I, and I roll with them. Let me peek. Uh, how about a hop? A hop and a peek? Oh, come on, man. Um, I have an idea. This is probably a bad idea. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna come over here. Da -da -da, we did it. We're the greatest, the best gamers in the world. Okay. Where's these convexies? Oh, this is concave. Ooh, that's a weird snap. Let's snap it off this. I don't like how that was giving me like double snap points that were right next to each other. Boom, boom. Snap. Make sure we snap it off the previous wall tile as opposed to like right next to it. The, the, the tile right next to it. Dun, 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 dun. Vacuum, 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 vacuum. Okay. Here's the last piece. I'm scared. I'm scared for this, but if this works, I'm going to be so happy. I don't know. <laughs> I've hit Bill. I've hit Bill Knight. That's some way, shape, or form. What if? What if? What if? How about this one? Not enough structural. Structural here. I've I've oh I've overbuilt myself into a corner. We never go small when it comes to building on Nerd Parade. We never go small. There. There has to be, there has to be a way. Because there's a will. There has to be a way to solve this. So I started playing around with like advanced rotating, like in Valheim, right? You can advance, rotate the pillars, do like a, uh, a horizontal instead of a vertical. But I can't seem to get the pillars to like do anything with advanced. Uh, so we're going to try some other this is just mostly for decoration because I thought it looked nice we're gonna try a couple of other things maybe we'll get um maybe it's maybe we can advance rotate this one no none of the pillars currently at this state of the game seems to seem to be advanced rotatable so let's move on slightly something different we're gonna continue to add little touches to my house there we go we got that point uh, let's see. Clunk, clunk, clunk. There we go. We got that point. Yes, yes. That one snapped relatively easily. Let's snap this first before we put on the tile. Okay, it's just that last freaking piece. Last piece. Uh, should we do a window up here? I think that might look good, right? Yeah. It's like the secret attic window. Unless there's another window wall. No. Oh, maybe I could do this. No, I don't have the structure. So I can't do that. I don't have the structural support. It's just not there. I think that would look a little janky anyway, because we run into like the smooth and then the, sh the jagged, like with this diagonal roof tile when we were a little bit earlier in the in the build. 
There it is. Loving it. Loving it. It's the, I like to call this one the little, the like the witch one, because it just reminds me of a witch's hut. If you if, now that I mentioned it, if you if you're seeing it, like oh I see I see what you mean, the witch's hut. You're never gonna unsee it. So you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome for me ruining that for you. You'll never unsee the witch's hut. Okay, so wanted more pillars out front there. Uh, so let's try to duplicate it on this side. If that allows me to build something up at the front, or up at the, like the the strip across the top, then we're golden. Like we've we're pushing the build heights though. We're pushing the limits. I don't think I could go any taller than this. Uh huh. Okay, now will this give me structural? I don't think this will. It's also not snapping on anything. Let's try with a with this roof tile. See, this is snapping, but it, it does not like you. It almost broke me, nerd Praters. It truly did. It truly did, but we managed to figure it out. Root home is furnished and complete. And it is looking sharp. So pillars were kind of the answer to my solution. I added in a few, for, starting from the bottom, working my way all the way up here to the top. And in spite of everything, we managed to close off this entire gap, except for this spot right here. So what did we do? We made a little ramp, put a thing on it so it won't get damaged by the elements. But this is open until we are able to get some more structural support up there. This is absolute build height. We just couldn't close it off because I think what the problem was is we went one, two, one segment. I'm gonna give us, that was my phone. I, we went one segment too wide. So we're unable to close that top portion off. But even with it, I'm really proud of what Root Home was looking like. And it's really cool at night here, all lit up with all the fire and stuff. Now we just need to get some of these chests broken down out here and put inside for storage solutions. And we are ready to go. I'm getting blown up. Who's <laughs> And we are ready to go.